So far, we've put in a single property animation on the payment method container on the cart screen. What can you do if you need to run more than one animation simultaneously? Or say, you want to run one animation before or after another. That's where animator set comes into play. Like value animator, animator set is a subclass of animator, but its main purpose is to let you combine other animators in a specified order. Let's see how to do so now by adding an animation to enhance the effect of adding a food item into the cart. To start, first add a duration constant to items activity. The constant will be shared by a few animators in our animator set. We're going to create a copy of the food item image being added to the cart and use an animator set to animate the copy over to the cart icon. To do so, let's first update the signature of the add item function in the items adapter listener interface in items adapter. Update the call to the listener add item accordingly. Back in items activity, Update the add item signature and add a get position of helper. Use the new helper in add item. Here, we're getting the position of the food image and the cart count circle on the screen. Next, get the size of the food image. Create a helper method to set up the extra view to animate. Back in add item, call the new helper to get the view to animate. Add a helper method to return an object animator. Add the view to animate to the root view and set up X, Y, and alpha animators. We're explicitly setting the interpolator on X and Y in case you want to try different interpolators. It's finally time to create an animator set. We'll use the Kotlin apply function to set up the animator set and start it. We'll use the play and with fluent interface methods to play the X animator with both the Y animator and the alpha animator. Build and run the app, tap a plus button to add an item to the cart, and a food item flies right into the cart. There is one slight problem with our setup though. When the animation is done, the image view we added to the root view is still present and acts in a weird way when we add more items to the cart. To fix that, We'll use an animator listener, as you'll see in the next video.